Okay, welcome back guys. I'm going to show you how to use the dissolve feature using KJ 3.10. So my steps are like this. Okay, this is the dissolve feature. What you got to do, what dissolve features does actually, it combines features, so maybe point lines or polygon, then it forms them into a single layer feature. So it might be points, lines, or polygon. For my case, I have QJS open here already. So I'll use this, uh, this is a region actually, Songo region, which is southwest of Tanzania. So I have various varieties of districts actually, words actually. I want to combine them to form districts. So for instance, in the Songo region, I have Ileje, I have Tunduma, Momba, Momba. So they are repetitively actually, don't worry. So I want to combine this, this Ileje, I-E-L-E-J-E -E, into one particular district. So what I'm going to do is the first thing is to select. So I'm going to go to my menu, then this option, select features. I do this one. Yeah. Now I want to unselect this because it's not among the Ileje. So I'll push my control button, then click Mozi. Then there you are, Ileje. So I've already selected my Ileje districts. So what I'm required is I want to make a single Ileje district. So we go from vector, geoprocessing tools, then dissolve. You see, vectors, geoprocessing tools, then dissolve. So I'm going to click here. So you have the text, the algorithm takes a vector layer and combines the feature into new features. Then you can read all the text here. So what you require is to make sure this is selected, the layer, yeah, we have, then select features layer only. So upon selecting this, I mean the only features that have been selected will be dissolved. So if you don't select this, that means they will dissolve the whole entire shape file which is loaded in the screen. So there, then create temporary layer, which is okay. So it will create a catch memory te temporary layer. So I'll just do the run. Wow, there you are. So I have already selected pink, pink, pink. So I'll unselect this. So I have it already here. So what I'm required to do is I can label it here using this one, ABC here, labels, then single labels. Then I can just choose, okay, now this is district name. So you see, I have a ledger here, all labeled. So this is a scratch actually, the simple one. So you can always export it and save feature as, then reserve it as maybe the new district council, which is a ledger. So this is the way of doing it. So thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I'll be uploading a lot more videos about QGIS, about uh, programming, about Excel. So make sure you subscribe so that you can not miss out any single thing. Thank you and welcome.